Okay, so I've never done a voiceover before, so here we go. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my smudge brush and I'm just going back and forth, I'm taking a little swipe of the highlighter. Um, remember, less is more because whatever you put on the person's skin, it needs to blend in. So I'm going back and forth really thin just to create my shape so you can really see where we are going to fill in above the line. This is basically creating our own personal stencil. I love to use the highlighter first. It's showing me exactly where I need to fill in. Um, I'm pulling it a little bit closer to the nose because her brows are short on the inner part where the brush is right now. So I'm pulling it a little bit closer because I'm gonna fill in afterwards with a tiny bit of powder or pencil. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, making it nice and tight. Um, it is a game changer. Everyone should be using a highlighter pencil. This will change your life. I'm waiting to see what we're doing next. So now I'm using my powder. Powder is perfect for her because she does have holes and I'm tapping it right inside of the holes. Tap, tap, and pull the product across. So we're going So we're going to continue to just add powder. I'm doing a little tap in the powder and then pressing it right inside of the little guideline that I made with my angle brush. In the front, we're going to do little strokes up. Tap, tap. Now I'm going right on top and I'm going all the way across. Less is more, you guys, less is more. In the front, we're just gonna do it very, very softly and I'm using the brush towards me. And then we're trying to just like flip the brush and soften it so it doesn't look like a hard square in the front. And I'm just continuing to add more powder because the product is super buildable and you can just keep going over it to add more rather than doing it too dark from the beginning. This color brown is good for pretty much everyone, to be honest. Um, you can do it lightly, as you see I'm doing it, and the more you put on, the darker it will get. You can even wet the brush and it will get very dark. So I know that a lot of people think the brown won't work for them, but I promise you, Brown is so, so, so good. Like I could use it on anyone at any time. So I'm just continuing to add a little bit more powder on the top part of her brow and then right inside of that line, bringing it down, making a tail, flipping the brush, blending it. And as you brush it, it blends it and softens it and makes it look more real. So I'm adding again, just a little bit more, tap, tap. Tap, tap, brush, brush, and flip and blend. You guys, this is basically a masterclass. Study this a million times. And this patting that powder right in that hole is literally making that entire hole disappear. It's literally like the powder is my favorite ever. That was my first product, my baby, until you guys talked me into making a pencil. And the pencil will basically do the same thing. And for a beginner, I think the pencil is great to start. So you would still use the highlight first and then do the same thing that we did with the pencil. But the powder really sits on the skin and, and like sits on that empty spot. So I didn't add more product to that smudge brush but I'm now going around it and just cleaning up my lines, making it like an eraser to make it perfect. I messed up, so I just blended it right out. Everyone messes up every time you fill them in. That's why you have that smudge brush to make it perfect. It looks so good. Oh my God.